44 gang, what is going on? What's happening, man? It's your boy, Hemi Life 44, back with another banging video. You understand me? Um, like I just said, you understand me? Hey, y'all, make sure y'all go to hemilife44.com, get your merch, get your merch. Got the yes up with the understand me. It's kind of like mismatched designer. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is Louis and this is Gucci, or this is. You know what I'm saying? It's, but it's all him. It's, it's, yeah, it's all me. You know what I mean? It's no, take that back. It's all us. Him and wife is behind the camera. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hey, this is how you do it. You keep it in the family, man. You know, you know what I mean? When she needs some videos recorded, I'll be her camera person. Stuff like that. Keep it in the family, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, himandlife44.com. Get your uh, clothes, man. We got uh, hoodies. We got hats. We got shirts. We got all that good stuff. But we're going to get straight to what this video is about, man. But make sure y'all like and share this video. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more dope reviews. Because obviously, y'all see what's going on right here. But we're going to get to that in a minute. Right after this banging B-roll, man. Yes, sir. Keys on the track. Keys on the track. Keys on the track. On the track, keys on the track. <laughs> Noisy, but uh, it might be a little noisy because we are outside. But uh, Mike's we outside. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Mike's coming soon for sure. We're working on getting mics. We finna upgrade everything. But y'all can see what we got right here, man. It's a 2021 Lamborghini Urus. You hear what I said? Urus, not Urus. Urus. Not Urus. It's Urus. You understand me? I don't know about no Urus. It's Urus. 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 Is it because we're from Texas? Lamborghini Urus. Urus. It's not Urus. I know that. <laughs> but it's, we got 2021 Lamborghini Urus right here, man. Uh, for those that don't know, this is a Lamborghini SUV. As you can see, people that didn't know this exists. Yes, Lamborghini not only make uh, supercars, hypercars, or whatever, but they make SUVs, man. And um, this is one of them. And so happened, we're gonna get into it, but this one so happens to be uh, one of the fastest, if not the fastest SUV on the planet. Horsepower wise, don't compare to the track out, but the top speed on this is more than the track out. The top speed on this is actually like 204, around 204. Track out, even though a track out is 707 horsepower, this is 641. This has a higher top speed. Trackhawks is 180. This one is a uh, one. Well, I'm gonna say 180, 190. I didn't. I didn't. I haven't went that fast in a trackhawk. The most I didn't drove a trackhawk was maybe 150. I haven't went that fast. But from what I know, I've seen 180 and I've seen 190. But this is not about the trackhawk. This is about this. This top speed is 204. So either way, it's faster than that. You know what I'm saying? But so um, as y'all can see from the front, man, we're gonna start off with this front. First of all, this front just looks so, uh, I wouldn't say it just looks aggressive, but it got a, it got its own look to it. Like, I actually like the look. I can't really tell you what it looks like because it don't look aggressive. It don't, it, it look more like, I'm going to say stylish. You know what I'm saying? It it's, looks like a Subaru in the front. A what? <laughs> a Subaru. It's a, it looks stylish to me. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's made real good. I like the way they, uh, I like the way they made the whole front real with all this man and actually on this front on this front you can order um carbon fiber and have carbon fiber put down here and all that but this particular one don't have the carbon fiber 
So instead of the gloss, the gloss black. Yeah, instead of the gloss, you, you can get the carbon fiber. That's a, that's a high upgrade. Like, it's a high dollar upgrade. This right here is a driver assist package. You know what I'm saying? It pretty much detects what's in the front of you. You know what I mean? This is this also this also is how the cars like when some people because like on, on my on my other vehicle, I've never seen the camera in the front. But my vehicle detects the car in front of me. You know what I mean? It, it, it let, like for example, if I'm too close to a car on the freeway, it'll be orange. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's letting me know you're too close to this car. Or if I'm at a good distance, that look that little symbol in my dash should be green. So that's pretty much what this this type of stuff do, man. It's it, uh, it's assisting your driving, pretty much self-explanatory. That's what it's called, driving assist. You know what I'm saying? But that's what that is. Then you got the sensors, obviously, that also help help do that same thing. The sensors, which that's on a lot of cars. It's not just a Lamborghini thing, you know. Well, um, what does this Lambo have that we don't have? Come huh? on. I said, well, then tell us what this Lambo have that we don't have. So what the Lambo have <laughs> that we don't have, because y'all do know, we have the Brembo's, which are <laughs> six-piston brakes on our SRTs and on our Hellcats, you know what I mean? We got on our track house the six-piston brakes. Now, a lot of y'all may look at this. Go bring this camera a little closer. A little closer. Come, come down. You got to bend down. You got to get on. You got to get here. You, you got to get around. So a lot of y'all might look at this and be like, oh, you got the Brembo and the six piston brakes. No, <laughs> these are 10 piston brakes, man. 10 piston brakes. And as y'all see how big these rotors are, I want to say these rotors are 14.5, 14 by five. Like they, they huge, man, they're perfect. I mean, they huge in person, man. And you know, you got the slotted, the little drill that helps with keeping the brakes cool. You know what I'm saying? Keeping that stopping power there. Um, also, on the 2021s, which what this is, it comes with 23-inch rims. So this is 23-inch rims versus the 22-inch rims that come on the other ones. Now, you can order 23-inch rims on the other one, but these come with 23 on the 2021s. And it actually has this green striping, which is kind of dirty. Let me get y'all good color. Yes, sir. I did that for y'all. My hand dirty. But, um... Yeah, so y'all see the green is matching the green up here, looking real good, matching the brake calibers. You know what I mean? I actually like this color, man. This is my type of color. Y'all know I'm a loud color type person. You know what I'm saying? This is my type of color. Like I would wrap my car this color. As y'all see, man, it's no carbon fiber on the mirrors, no carbon fiber. But you got your uh, signals, your signals right here, and all this and that to let let you let let you know you're getting over with. Let other people know that you got your signal on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, not not too spectacular on the side. Now some Lambo Lambo trucks uh, do have the step rails where you can get the step rails, but this one don't have it. Like I said, this one is not uh, upgraded version. Now I will let y'all know this from the jump. This one is three hundred and thirty-four thousand dollars. Let me say that again. Let me get a little closer to y'all. Three hundred no, no, no. and thirty-four thousand dollars. Hold now, on, wait. Let me pluck that gray hair out. I got gray hair in my nose, <laughs> but she, you know what I'm saying? She's she trying to get on me about that. I can't help it. I cut my nose hairs and they grew back crazy. You You're a man? hairy man. Hey, they there and they gonna stay in this video because we can't cut them right now. So y'all gotta deal with it. I apologize. But back to this. The smaller uh, brakes back here. You know what I'm saying? Got the smaller brakes back there. But this vehicle has unbelievable stopping power. Like the, the stopping on it is 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 top level. You know what I'm saying? The stopping on this vehicle is, is real top level. This little vent port right here, like, I like I like that little setup right there. I like that. And also with the tail, with the spoiler, you get a spoiler here, a spoiler here. Now, these come in carbon fiber too, but it gotta be ordered that way, which that's like, that's like an extra $2,000 just to get these two in carbon fiber. You know what I mean? So, um, come on here, hear me life with the car review. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a future Lambo owner. Well, let's no, let's 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 stay facts. I'm a future McLaren owner. The only Lambo that I'm interested in is this. I do like this and a Lam Lamborghini SVJ. It gotta be the big Lambo with me. It gotta be the big Lambo. Let me tell y'all about this side. I talked to y'all about the left side of the Lambo, but I ain't told y'all about the right side. So the right side of this Lambo is the same as the left side. So we're gonna 
Who gonna skip all that? Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Who gonna skip all that? It's the same. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no point in this. What, what you want me to do? This, 10 piston brakes on the on the right side. We know. You know what I'm saying? This this logo right here, man. Some real I, I really wanna tell y'all something about this logo. Now, come on, get down. Let me let me really tell y'all about this logo right here. Well, put the camera on me too with the logo. This logo, I have no idea what it means. I have no idea what it means. I, I, I honestly looked it up. I'm thinking it's just a previous owner left it on her dealership, put it on her. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think it has nothing to do with this yours. It definitely has nothing to do with Lamborghini. I, I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. If anybody know, help me out if I'm wrong. Let's but, see um, you got the. You know, we got the look, the logo right here, the green, white, and red. That's dope, man. I like it. Now we're gonna get on the inside. Before we do that, we're gonna pop this hood right here. So now we got the hood pop, man. As y'all can see, uh, Lamborghini right here. Um, I will say this though, this looks a lot more easier to get to than I've noticed in other other foreign cars. A lot of these cars, man, it, it look when you pop the hood, it look like it's almost like a. It's almost like when when you pop the hood on some of these cars, these foreign cars. It's almost like as soon as you pop the hood, it's like, oh, I see why it costs so much to work on this, because it looked like it's hard to get to. You know what I mean? But this one actually looks kind of like you just take this off. It look, I don't know how it worked, but it looks like that. So it looked a lot, you know what I'm saying, easier to work on this than another foreign car. But I'm sure they still gonna tax you on this too. But V8 turbo compressed. And y'all see this right here. This is the firing order of the engine, man. So it's one, three, seven, two, six, five, four, eight. That's the firing order. But people that thought uh, V8 might fire one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. <laughs> this is the firing order right here, man. That's what that means. So, uh, yeah. It's not not a lot to look at up under the engine, man. But what I will tell you about the engine, it is 641 horsepower, top speed. 204 man so you get some power out of the suv like i said arguably the fastest suv from my research it we're gonna some we're gonna do this it's one of the fastest suvs make it make it simple so hey we're about to start it up I, i'm gonna let y'all hear the exhaust um but I, one thing i want to point out since i'm opening up this door right now y'all pay attention y'all probably don't see no difference right now i'm gonna give y'all five seconds let me know what y'all see different about this suv when i open the door what do y'all see different right now as far as the door everything y'all see different so if you don't see nothing different let me let you know not a lot of suvs not many suvs open up frameless like this this is normally on cars if you pay attention most suvs this part is connected to the door and all that opens up with the window. The window is in that, you know what I'm saying? So this is frameless, which is kind of dope and different about this SUV. But it's a Lambo, what you expect? You know? Oh, you know what we did? There is some look, Oh, it's some cold fiber on the inside, but not, yeah. not, not on the outside. You know, <laughs> it's we're a little bit, it's a little but, bit. Let's so start it up. So we in the Urus right now. We're on the inside of the Lamborghini Urus right now. Um, and as y'all can see, this steering wheel kind of looks familiar. This steering wheel kind of looks familiar, man. It almost looks like a Charger type challenge. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the Dodge steering wheels on the SRTs and stuff like that with the flat bottom, with the thickness. You know what I'm saying? The thickness of it, it feels the exact same. Honestly, it feels the same. Um, these steering wheels right here do come in a different type of material, but this is actually the leather package on this one. Um, as I said before, this one is this one is not like the all the way upgraded version of these Lamborghini Urus. Um, it come with more uh, uh, high quality stuff in it. You know what I mean? But this steering wheel is dope, man. It, it feels good. You know what I'm saying? I would be happy with this if I didn't have the other package or whatever. 
But as y'all can see, Digital Dash pretty much shows you everything you need to know. You know what I'm saying? It shows you it shows you everything you need to know if there's just like most cars these days, they show you the mileage, the time, the you can even have you know what I'm saying? They they show the radio. You know what I'm saying? They show they, they, they show everything on the screen, you know what I mean? Um now I'm not hundred percent sure if this one shows the radio. I was just speaking on these new and new age cars where they show so much on the screen, man. It's just everything is there for you on the dash now. You know, the gas is over here to the right hand side. It's kind of uh, you know, digital or whatever, same over here digital with the you know with the lights to go up let you know your cool temperature and your gas we got a little gas in here um let's go down to the radio everything is everything on his touch screen man everything is touch screen you got your media when you go to the media uh let's go to let's go to let's see if we got something let's go to phone okay that's where you you know you can connect your phone you can enter a sim a, a, a card and all that good stuff. That's the SM series radio. Let me turn it, turn it down. Um, but this also has like, uh, where is it at? I'm, I seen it. I can't find it. So settings. Go back, y'all. See, I'm trying to find something that I've seen, and I don't know how to get to it. Um, can you do me a favor, him wife? Can you open that glove box? Pull that thing down like so. And can you go down just a little bit? Bring that camera down just a little bit, man. Right up under there. All the way down. You, I, I need you to keep going now. I need you to keep going. That's the that you want the man. I need you to keep going. So y'all can't see it, but there's a DVD player right here. It's a DVD player right here. Let me see. Um, See if we can go like this. Y'all can see the DVD player right there. It's a DVD player right there. I'm sorry I had to do it like that, but unfortunately, uh, it's kind of small in here. Um, <laughs> but um, that's what I was looking for, but instead of me going showing y'all in here, because I don't know how to get to it, you know what I mean? Um, I really don't. Uh, but it's in here somewhere. You can uh, control the DVD player through here and I listen in. Also, you want to put in an uh, address. This screen right here, actually, you can come out of this this AC setting right here, and you can actually write the address with your hand. You know what I mean? You can actually write it with your hand, enter her, and it'll go into there. You can put a text. Like, yeah, you can actually. Uh, I don't know about on the phone. I don't. I don't. No, wanna... I'm saying like, is it? Are Are you just like the text to come up and where you can choose like the letters? Like if you spell out the street address. I don't know. I didn't see that. I just seen it where they write where you can write your. You know what I mean? You like, can write it. Like like you like do you on write the phone. Signature. Yeah. You can, oh. Yeah, like you do on an electric signature, mm -hmm. you can write write your address, write it in here what you're trying to do, and it'll go to it. Um, so let's go on down a little bit more. As y'all can see, this big pad right here. Um, as you can see, if I hit the brakes, hit this, this is not. I can't put that in reverse, right? That button does not move. You know what I'm saying? So how you put it in reverse is you got to push this whole deal back. Now it's in reverse. You got to push that whole deal back. And now, as y'all can see, I'm in reverse. You got the 360 camera. You got this camera, which is actually a, a decent looking camera. Um, but to put it back in park, to, to put it back in park, you actually come right here and you just push that, push that P and you back in park. You know what I'm saying? And this right here, you put it in manual with this. That's what the M is for. Um, this setting right here, actually, you can actually sit now. It's, it's still, why is it, it's still showing reverse i'm not in reverse no no you oh no listen i'm it, not oh it is in part i'm not in reverse and it's still showing it's it's still showing reverse i'm not i'm not in reverse this is different modes if you for the know. um the uh the suspension as y'all can see I, when i hit that it changed to sport sportive i hit it again it goes to smooth hit it again it go to medium and you can do the same with the steering wheel when you come down when you come down the steering wheel is right here, push that, and you come right here, it's gonna change the medium, sportive, you know what I mean, and so on. It's, it's, it's That's pretty much, you know what I'm saying, self-explanatory, man. It's almost like a sport mode where in our cars, if y'all, to make it a little more familiar with y'all, in our cars, when you do that, the steering wheel tightens up, you know what I'm saying, and that's pretty much what that does. Put it in smooth, you know what I'm saying, it's a little bit looser, medium, that's, 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 that's real loose right there 
but it's sportive, it tightens up, you know what I'm saying? Which make it a lot safer to speed in, you know what I'm saying? But we in park right now, so, and how you put it in drive. As you see, it's a park button, reverse button, uh, manual button. This right here puts it in reverse. You can't push it this way to put it in drive. So the only way you can put it in drive is come up here to the steering wheel and you hit the, you get on the brake and you hit this. Now you in drive. You're in drive now. That's the only way you put it in drive. Now you don't have to drive it manually because you did that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you still have the manual button here. You don't have to drive it manually, but it's in now it's in drive. You don't have to drive it manually. You don't have to do that. Uh once you start going and just start switching gears, or you can drive it manually by this button right here. You know what I mean? Now, um, so we're gonna put it back in park because we're not gonna drive it right now. And come down here. Some of these, some of these have the uh the ambient lighting. This one don't. So if you had the light, the the lighting option, you can go in here and you can change all the lights like you can do in the Camaros and stuff like that. You can change the lights in there, in there. You'll be able to do the same in this one, but like I said, this one don't have it. So you had this little compartment right here. You pull that up, um, sit your phone in there and it should charge. Is my phone gonna charge? I've never got, you know what? Maybe that's cause my case is, there you go. I've never got in a car and that worked, never. This is the first car I've done this in and it worked. So yeah, you set your phone right there and it's charging. You don't have to plug nothing up or nothing like that. Phone automatic charge, which is dope. I like that. But before we get to the seats, man, and everything else, I forgot to show y'all these modes are like this mode is for like street mode. That's a sport mode. This is Corsa, which means uh, track mode. And the rest of these are like earth, sand, and snow, like regular modes. Um, but these are the modes everybody gonna be wanting to be in. You got your, your regular mode, your sport, then your, your Corsa, which the exhaust change, if y'all heard it earlier when I was changing the exhaust, that's what I was doing. I was going through the modes. Um, the exhaust change to each mode, the vehicle goes up and down, depending on what mode you have it in, the suspension raising and lowers, uh, depending on what mode you have it in. I'm gonna have Hemi Watch to get in and uh, hit these modes so y'all can see it go down. Come hit the modes for him, Hemi Wife. Go, go through those modes so they can see the car. Right now the car is sitting up kind of high because we have it in a regular mode. But she put it in, like put it in Corsa. See it going down now? So now it's more in like a sporter mode. It's more in like a sport mode. It's ready to get up and get down through there. And y'all can see the exhaust change now. I'm gonna come back here and talk y'all through it. So this is the strata mode. Y'all can barely hear the exhaust. This is the strata. This is strata. Okay, go to street. I mean sport. That's sport. Y'all can hear it come in a little bit more. A little bit more. And it, it lowered. It went down some more. The vehicle just lowered some more. Okay, now go to Corsa. See? Corsa, Corsa mode, the exhaust change all the way. It, it amps up all that. Go to the next one. That's a more subtle mode. I think that's, is that Terra? Oh, that's the Savvy, whatever that is. <laughs> it, all these names are in Italian, man. That's, that's in Italian. Um, so go to the next one. And now that's like, you know what I'm saying? You don't hurt nothing again. You know what I mean? So those are the modes, man. That's pretty much what it is. Those are the modes. And for those people that haven't seen him and wife, this is him and wife. Hey, how you, you know doing? I mean? Why are you all up close to person? I'm actually not. It you know feels I mean? like you are. I mean, you, but yeah, you know, that's a, me being close and personal, it's actually a nice look. I know men probably looking at you right now, drooling. Okay. Uh huh? I, it's, yeah. You just caught me off guard. Yeah, I mean, it's all good. Yeah. Hi. Beautiful. So you can be that close. It's okay. okay. If you was ugly, then you want me way back on the freeway over there. Okay. Yeah. That's nice to <laughs> but, see you. But let's talk about these seats. So y'all, you do have the. I'm letting her up right now, as y'all can see. Y'all see going up. You know what I'm saying? You can let the seat up and down. And this right here is a seat, a seat massage. You know what I'm saying? I did have the massage on. You feel that massage? Um. Do you feel it? Cause I had it on. I don't know what I felt. I was here. Okay. Boom. Lean back. You feel it now? I turned it off then. I feel it. Oh, you feel it? Yeah, I feel Okay, it. I'm gonna leave it on. So, I turned the massage on for, you know what I'm saying? Uh, y'all can see leather on the side right here in the green, which I showed y'all all of that, man. Come on, y'all seen that. 
Now we're gonna we're gonna go back here. Now back here, man, uh like I said, this is not the upgraded version of this. So some of these come with laptops back here that you can actually take off. And when you take the laptop off, it actually has a Lamborghini signature right here. Like it's real dope, man. It's real dope. But like I said, out sunroof, man, Alcaterra everywhere. Alcaterra everywhere in here, man. Alcaterra everywhere, man. Everywhere. He didn't cool seats in the back as you would expect in a Lamborghini anything you know um carbon fiber on the side this has a six thousand dollar sound system right there y'all see the name six thousand dollar sound system man uh then you got the vents right here for the kids or whoever's sitting in the back along with these and they can control their own you know what i mean and we're gonna pop the pop the back right quick so sweet we, we popped the back um oh i didn't notice the matches back here didn't know the mats was back here. But the mats are back here, man. Then you got Alcatara up here. Come on, look at it. Good. My daddy used to do this. My daddy purposely vacuumed his house like this. Purposely vacuumed his house like this, man. It always had the lines in the floor, and you better not mess them lines up. <laughs> and when he do that, that means time to go to bed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but back here, I want to show y'all these buttons right here. Now, these buttons actually, say for instance, you wanted to put something heavy in here or something. And it was just, it was sitting just a little too high for you. So you can push this button right here and it lets the vehicle down. I don't know if y'all can see it going down. Let me see if I can let, see if I can let it back up. Hey, my wife, come push this button. Push this button up right here. Push it up. No, don't hold it, just let it go. Okay, now push the bottom one. That joint is up. That thing is, so I think I let it up. Y'all see how high it's sitting now? I think I let it up, man. I think I let it up. Uh, This should be down right here. That's down, so it should go down. Come hold it, you hear me, wife? Come hold that button. Yeah, we learned about the Lambo with y'all. Hold it down. It's not, oh, is it? No, it's not moving. So anyway, I don't know why. Maybe I'm not pushing something. As you can see, y'all can see right there. That supposed to let the vehicle up and down. See that? But as you can see, trunk button right here, push that, it goes down. It's that simple. That simple. But uh, she's over blowing horns. But um, yeah, no, you know the top is all black up there, which is dope. Oh, me, I didn't show y'all the key. So let me show y'all the key, man, how simple the key is. It's kind of heavy too. This key is actually kind of heavy. The Lambo logo right there, you got this, you know what I'm saying? And I don't know why this camera is still on, man. I am not in reverse. Y'all can see, we are in part. Y'all see that P right there? I don't know what's going on. But uh, yes, man, like I said, this is a $344,000 vehicle here. That's the price of it here. You know what I mean? I am at Palomino Motors. Another thing I want to show y'all. So when you close the door, it closes by itself. As y'all can see. And also, when you pull this, it opens. Pops open like that. You know what I mean? It, see? Y'all noticed that? I'm just going so y'all can see my finger too. It pops open. I'm not pulling it. You close, push it back and it closes on its own. And then the one to go up, obviously. But I am at Palomino Motors, man. Palomino Motors, 214-879-0111. Y'all make sure y'all come talk to them. If y'all are interested in this Lamborghini, if y'all are interested in the BMW i8, well, you know what? The BMW i8 is already sold. That's already gone. Um, excuse me, Mr. Fire, Mr. Fire Truck, I'm trying to conduct a review here. But it's already gone. The i8 is already sold. So y'all stay tuned, man. We got more dope reviews to come i want y'all to get into the comments and let me know what y'all think about this vehicle. this vehicle now for those that's new to my channel uh and this is your first video your first video i will say this is probably one of the first reviews where i didn't drive the car the reason i'm not driving this car number one is a 344 thousand dollar car number one but that's not the, the main reason that plays a part into the reason and how that plays a part into it 
when a car is this much money, people want it less miles as possible when they come by it. They don't want all these miles on the car. Now this car is not brand new. You know what I mean? It has like a couple, maybe a couple thousand miles. It's it's not, it's pretty much brand new. It's broke in pretty much. But you can't just risk, which I respect, you can't just risk putting this type of vehicle out on the road because it's a high dollar, it's that much of a high dollar vehicle. Y'all to get in the comments, man. Let me know what y'all think about this vehicle. If y'all really like it, y'all make sure y'all come to Palomino Motors. Y'all talk to uh, Kevin or talk to Jimmy. Tell him Hemi Life 44 sent you. You know what I mean? Tell him y'all is from the channel. Y'all seen it from the channel. You know what I mean? But right now, I'm gonna go on and wrap it up because this it's, it's like 102. I heard so like 102. Hemi Wife over here. I, I, I see the look on her face. She hot. She ready to go back home. I don't blame. I'm ready to go. You know what I'm saying? But one more good look at this beautiful beast right here. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to look at some more, watch the video again. It ain't going to hurt you. Subscribe to the channel. Like, uh, share all that good stuff, man. Y'all know how I end out my videos. In the meantime, in between time, to the next video. I'll let your boy. I am out. Yes, sir.